Welcome to the EZU course about comparative radar quoting for personal lines in EZ links. In this course, you will learn how to create an applicant, run personal lines quotes, and how to send a personal URL to your clients. So, let's get started. Let's say a new customer comes through your door and asks for a quote. First, you'll need to get them into your system. To do this, hover over the applicant icon and click Create New Applicant. You'll land on the Personal Lines Details Entry screen. Here, you'll want to fill in all required fields, which are designated with an asterisk. Next, you'll fill in the applicant's contact info. With our Google Maps integration, you can start typing the address, and then click on the correct entry to confirm the location on the map. If the address doesn't populate in the drop-down, you can always continue entering it manually. Then, include any phone numbers or email addresses for your applicant. After entering all the required applicant information, you have several choices on how to move forward. You can save the information, which will take you straight into the overview screen, or you can move directly into quoting this applicant. For this tutorial, let's move right into the auto application by clicking the Go to Auto button. You'll land on the first step in the auto application, which is rating. From here, you'll move through each step and fill in as much information as possible in order to receive an accurate quote. On the rating step, you can select a quote template to apply, as well as enable carrier answer prefill. Enabling this option allows easy links, using advanced data analytics, to apply the most common answers from all users across the application to your carrier-specific questions. If you toggle the Hide Prefilled Answers option, the system will hide any answers that have been prefilled, so that you can focus on any unanswered questions. You can also select the carriers you wish to quote for here. You can toggle select all carriers or toggle any carriers individually that you have valid logins for. Next, you'll click the Policy Info button in the bottom right corner of the page to continue. This step concerns the applicant's prior policy information, as well as the new policy information. As with all steps, make sure to fill in all fields with an asterisk. Then, you'll click on the Drivers button at the bottom to continue. Here, you'll fill in the driver information for the primary insured. If needed, you can add an additional driver by clicking the Add Driver button. When ready, you can click the Vehicles button at the bottom to continue. If you know the VIN number of the vehicle, you can type it into the VIN field. Otherwise, you can select the year for the vehicle to unlock the make, model, and submodel drop-downs. The answers you select for these drop-downs will automatically fill in the VIN and cost new value fields. If needed, you can click on the Add Alternate Garage Address if your vehicle isn't located at the primary address listed on the Details tab. Additionally, you can toggle whether the vehicle had prior damage present or if the vehicle is used for delivery purposes. Once you're done on this page, click the Incidents button at the bottom to continue. Here, you can add an incident for each of the three sections, Accidents, Violations, and Comp Losses. To do this, click on any of the Add buttons beneath the desired section. For this tutorial, let's assume our applicant is a great driver and has no incidents to report. Now, click the Coverage button to continue. On this page, enter all of the coverage options for the policy. If you have multiple vehicles, you can apply the same coverages to each vehicle by toggling the Apply Coverage to All Vehicles. You also have the ability to toggle options for a multi-policy discount, retirement community, AAA membership discount, and company car. When you have green check marks for each section, you know that you have completed all the required fields. Next, click the button to continue to the Carrier Questions page. Depending on the carriers selected on the rating page, there may or may not be carrier questions that you need to answer here. Some carriers will require the questions be answered while the quote is being processed, while others will have them displayed here. A common carrier question is the entry of your producer code. Please make sure that your producer code is entered accurately here, otherwise you may receive an error. After answering any required questions, you'll move to the final validation step of the application by clicking the Finish button at the bottom of the page. On the validation page, the system will let you know if there are any mistakes or missed fields in the data entered. If there are, you can click on the Fix button to be taken directly to the step where you can correct the required field. Here, you can also save the application as a template for future use. On the Save Quote Template page, you can give the template a name and set the effective and expiration dates. 
You can also choose whether to share this with other users in your agency or branch offices, if applicable. Then, click Save to save the template. This template can now be applied to any new auto application that you create. Once the system has notified you that the auto data is complete, click Submit to Carriers to send this information to the carriers. Here, you'll have an opportunity to select the carriers that you wish to quote for. Once you have decided, click Submit. It may take a moment to retrieve the quote from the carrier site and you may need to answer some additional carrier questions. You may also get an error back from the carrier. If the error is specific and tells you the issue, you can go back into the application and correct the problem. Otherwise, you can click the Report Error button for assistance from EasyLinks on the error. Once the system has finished retrieving the quote, you'll see the results displayed. To see more detailed information on a specific quote, you can click on View More Details. Here, you can view underwriting messages, applied discounts, and more details. The Go to Carrier button will allow you to view the quote on the carrier's site, if compatible with Easy Links. Additionally, you can switch between the graph view and the list view by clicking the toggle here. Now, let's head back to the Overview tab within the applicant's account. If you want to let the customer fill out some or all of the rating application information themselves, click the share icon and select personal URL, Pearl. This is a direct link to your agency's consumer quoting portal, where the customer can input their rating information and potentially be returned a live quote, depending on your agency's setup. If you do not have a branded consumer quoting portal with us, you can still send a Pearl to your customer, where they will land on a default quoting portal. This is a time-saving feature that enables you to create a personal and streamlined quoting experience for your customer. Once you've selected the delivery method and reviewed all the information for the Pearl, click the Send button at the bottom of the page. Moving on, let's discuss how to create a new home application for this customer. From the Overview tab, click on the Actions drop-down and hover over Add Application to select Home. This process is going to be very similar to how you obtained the auto quote earlier, the only difference being the coverage fields and information. On the rating page, make your selection from the policy slash form type drop down. Again, you can choose to toggle the carrier answers pre-fill on, if you so desire. Then, select your carrier or carriers from the list and click on the policy info button to continue. On this page, you can click the pre-fill home button to utilize the MSB home lookup integration, if applicable. If your agency does have the MSB integration, please check out our home lookup using MSB video on how to utilize this feature. Otherwise, you can fill in the required information manually and click the dwelling info button at the bottom of the page to continue. This page contains all of the relevant information about the structure itself, such as type, square footage, and geographical information. After completing the fields, you can move on to the coverage page. On this page, you'll fill in all of the requested coverage amounts. Make sure to take a look at the financial interests information section as well, if needed. When ready, you can click on the endorsements button to continue. Anything that could be considered an endorsement or extra coverage, such as earthquake and personal property, will be located here. However, none of this is required, so you can fill in what you wish to and move on to the carrier questions page. Once completing all required carrier questions, click the Finish button. Again, if there are any corrections to be made, you can do so now. Otherwise, click Submit to Carriers. The Quote Results page for Home will be the same as the auto done earlier in this video. However, in the View More Details section, you'll find more details tailored to personal home coverage. From here, you're ready to bind. If the carrier is compatible with Easy Links, you can use the Go to Carrier button to follow the quote directly to the carrier site and bind it from there. That's all for this EZU course on Comparative Rater Quoting for Personal Lines in Easy Links. You should now have the knowledge to create an applicant, run personal lines quotes, and how to send a personal URL to your clients. Thanks for watching.